dining room um, with one point perspective. Start off with, you're going to create a rectangle for the back wall or a square. If you don't want a lot of ceiling showing, make this toward the top of the page. Remember the ruler trick of lining your ruler up with the edge of your paper. You'll have a perfectly vertical line. So we'll start with the back wall. It doesn't have to be right in the center. You want it the same size. Line up the ruler again here on this edge and you'll have a perfectly horizontal line. So here's my back wall. You're then going to put a vanishing point. It doesn't have to be right in the center, but somewhere towards the center, I'm going to put a vanishing point. And I'm going to take that dot in my ruler. I'm going to line it up with the dot and the corner of the back wall. It does not have to line up with the corner of the paper. So it does not have to go off the corner. It just goes off where it goes off. Lined up. That's my ceiling. Side wall. Side wall. Okay, so we have our floor. I'm going to start with the table, dining room table. And what you want to do is you want to, you're looking at the entire side of the table. We're like here facing the back wall. And so you're going to see the entire table, which would consist of horizontal and vertical lines. So here would be like the edge of my table and my table legs. I'm going to come in a little bit for my table legs. So that's just a straight on view. You don't have to worry about a vanishing point. That's the table as I see the edge of the table the entire side of the table, not from a corner, the entire side. And I'm going to line up the corners here with the vanishing point. And again, you don't have to go all the way. Go as far as you want your table to go and stop. So I'm going to line it up here, line up here. And again, like our buildings or anything else we've done prior, this is a horizontal line, so you need to make sure you stop the table with the horizontal line as well. Here's my table. How about a chair? I'm going to do a curved chair over here and just a straighter chair over here. Let me let me start actually with a let me start over here with a uh, just a straight take chair. There's several sizes of chairs and shapes, but I'm going to go ahead and just have a uh, this is like the again we're seeing the side of the chair. Now my seat will be lower than so it can go in here. You can touch the table, make it a little shorter there. And here's a leg. So here's just a simple, very simple chair. Where are we going to go to the vanishing point? We're going to go at the top corner here. And stop where you want to stop. You'll have this corner. You'll have this corner. And this corner, when it hits the table, you stop. And even this corner here. And believe it or not, we need this corner right here, just a little bit, so that table will not, I mean, uh, the leg won't be too skinny. And there as well. So right here, these are all heading to the vanishing point. Now decide how wide you want. This could be a bench even. This is kind of looking like a bench. Keep a nice vertical line. Stop there. It matches these two. And then horizontal cut it off. So that's like the back of the chair. And we need a horizontal line here where that stopped. So that's just a wooden chair. This chair could look more like a bench and you could have this here and stopping here. So you see that looks like a bench. You could make it longer if you wanted a bench. If I wanted this back to be solid but I wanted um, like four legs then against that vanishing point Make your legs. That one would be a little bit smaller than that because it's further away. And then you would erase inside here. Alright, on this side I'm going to do a curved chair. because Not all chairs are upright like that. I'm looking at my dining room chair right now, so I'm speaking. So again, I'm going to draw the side. I see a curve. Make it go off the page here. 
And I'm seeing the seat, which is horizontal. I'll make it the same height as the other chair. So I've got my the bench part where we sit. And I've got a curve here. So you start with that. Then at the top of the bench, sorry, not the bench, the uh, top of the chair, head those to the vanishing point. You're going to have that corner where the seat would be. Again, go as far as you would like your seat to go. I've got two corners here going to the vanishing point. I'm going to stop it right here. And I'm going to follow that same curve. And then a horizontal line here. And as far as the other legs, I want four legs at the bottom. And this one here. Again, it be in this line. I would just see maybe a little bit of there, right there. That's that part there. Now this one, I'm going to see a little bit on this side. Right there. And I might just see the edge there, and that's about it. And if you wanted a cushion on top of that, I so said that's just the bare wood, but if I wanted a cushion, I'm going to draw another rectangle on top of here. Maybe make it go out a little further for a cushion. And that cushion edge also needs to go to the vanishing point. So there are some chairs. Now let's talk about a chair back here. Now a chair back here, I'm just going to do a straight chair. It's just facing us. I'm just going to do a plain old a chair like this. Make a rectangle or square. But that looks flat. We need to have a little depth to it, so we're going to line up corners here to the vanishing point. Then draw, and it needs to be even a little thinner than that because it's further away. Not as thick. So there is my back chair. Alright, over here, we're going to draw what's called a buffet. So what you're going to do again, you're going to draw the edge facing you. I'm going to make it come off the page a little bit. Let's see wall is there. It's going to start right here. And I'm just going to start with a rectangle, as tall as I want it to be. Before that, I want it to come out a little bit. I want to have a overhang a little bit. So I'm going to start with this shape right here. Okay. All of these, if it has a clear shot, goes to the vanishing point. That one does. And again, stop it where you want to stop it. Each of these corners goes to the vanishing point. I don't need one there. And I will need one here. It's going to go behind the chair. And how are you going to stop it? I'm going to stop it about right here. This is vertical because that's vertical. This is horizontal. So that's got to be horizontal too. There. Now the little overhang. Okay, to overhang, I don't want to draw a line here. I'm going to head back on that vanishing point just a little bit and then make a perfectly vertical line like that. We'll clean it up later. What if you wanted cabinets under here? Maybe that could be a line of the bottom cabinet. Have a top cabinet. center there make sure those are vertical have some knobs so there we have what's called a buffet all right what about over here what if we want a round like an oval table everything's so square except that one chair so I'm gonna come over here this is gonna be again I'm looking in my dining room right now I'm looking at this piece of furniture that's similar to this so we have a leg here and instead of making it like this we're going to come out here and we're going to make this part 
curve. Make it curve. Now I'm going to go a little more. Go to the vanishing point here. I'm go ahead and do this one as well. This corner here. Curve. And I'm just going to follow that curve. It's just looking a little more round. And then we will need a back leg here. Touches the floor, just will not be as tall. There. We need the edge to go to the vanishing point. Like that. That needs to be horizontal like that. So there's sort of a rounded table, but again, this part still goes to the vanishing point. All right, a window. Let's put a window above here. Start with a straight vertical line nearest, um, I would say us, over here. The top would go to the vanishing point. Make it as large as you want. I have a big window here. Vertical stays vertical. Now that again, that looks a little flat. So we need to have uh, what we call molding. That molding here. So it just follows. This follows the vanishing point as well. Vertical stays vertical. And one more little tidbit. That still looks a little flat. Just on this edge here. Actually, this is what we probably should have started with. I'm just going to come here, two little horizontal lines, real thin. So that is like the molding here. So now that window is really you know, sticking out of the wall. As far as window panes, you can mark where you want, like right here. Again, what normally would be horizontal is going to go to the vanishing point. Vertical is going to stay vertical. teeny little part right there and right here as well. Could have curtains. So there's a window. Let's see over here I would like a piece of artwork. I want a canvas painting. I'm going to start here, which I should have done over here. I'm going to start how thick I want that canvas to be. And start with a rectangle. Just straight on. And to those corners that have a clear shot, go to the vanishing point. We wouldn't see that other three-dimensional side there. So this could be our pretty abstract artwork. All right, how about a chair back here against the wall? Yeah, I'm going to make it just a straight chair. So I start with what I see all of, which would look something similar to this. Use your ruler. Make it come into the floor. All right, now this seat has to go to the vanishing point. And so do the legs. And it, and it, when you hit that wall, stop. So those are heading to the vanishing point. I've got a horizontal line here for the seat. Now that back is just going to go straight up. And I'm going to have some then our four legs. Make sure it touches the, the floor like that. Oh, and that looks flat on the back, back too. So the edge of that top of that chair, just a little bit, so it doesn't look flat, goes to the vanishing point. Same here. All the way down like that. So there's a chair. How about an opening here? How about a door? Vertical stays vertical. It's nice to have molding around your door. I'm going to put a little molding here. So that's like a door opening. 
I could have just a door there. What if I wanted it like an opening into another room? Head to the vanishing point, the corner, right? Just that. Just follow the same line as you did on this wall. This could be a wall going into another room. If there was a door, let's say there's a door out there. And the top of that door, go to the vanishing point. This door is going to be smaller, and let's say this door is going outside. Again, we might want a little molding, skinnier molding. So there's a door leading out there. And two more things. Let's say I wanted the back of a chair here. Again, we are we are here looking out, so you want it it probably taller than these two chairs right here. I'm going to make it taller. It's going to be wider than that chair back there. So I'm going to start with just a rectangle. And make the legs, four legs. Seat needs to be lower than the other seats. So I'm going to start off with this. Place the table. And what needs to go to the vanishing point? Just that top part, the top corners here, just so it won't look flat. And actually also the edge of these chair legs. I could go all the way. And then decide how deep you want them. There's that one here, which needs to stay vertical. And I probably would not even see the other chair legs. Now, just a couple more things. Um, I wanted a light fixture of some sort. Uh, think about where it'd be over the table, right here in the middle of the room. Start with a you know, vertical rectangle coming down, as low as you want. And a lot, like an oval, perhaps. Uh, there are several light fixtures. I'm going to have like a kind of a rounded triangular shape. There's the light bulb. And then a little oval at the top of the ceiling as well. Couple more things. If you have things on furniture, like if I needed it, let's say I have a flower box here. Again, start with the side you're seeing all of, which would be a square. Sides need to go to the vanishing point. So I'm making a box, basically, in the corner. Vertical stays vertical. So here's my little flower box. My flowers. And this flower would even be a little bit larger than these flowers. And lastly, if you wanted a wooden floor, come down here at the bottom and you're going to make your little marks. You probably measure them. You do need to measure that they're exactly the same, like a half an inch or an inch. Make those little marks, bottom of your page. And then go to the vanishing point. Obviously, do not go through your furniture. Just make it stop and make sure that ruler stays on that vanishing point. Probably need another one back here as well. Oops, I think that through there. The line should never touch each other, ever. Let it stop at the back wall. So I'm going to clean this up, and I'll show you my finished version in just a minute. So here we are with my finished versions. I added a couple of things. I added this lamp over here, get that curved, made that look round by shading. There'd be a shadow here. Um, I use my light source here, my chandelier, the light as my light, um, a light source, and so you can tell which sides of the furniture would be shaded away from the light. I finished my wood. Um, and here I added a rug. So all I did was draw this line here. And again, all these will go to that vanishing point, the edge of that rug here. Got a shadow under this table. Underneath this table, there would not be any lightness. 
because the light. Um, so I'm just going to let you look at this for just a minute to see how I finished it off. 